It is wrong to escape the consequences of one's actions. Gandhi, the diary of Mahadev Desai. For Gandhi, as for many people who thought like him, life is a learning experience. Life is a learning project. So if you like make a mistake and you suffer for it to some degree and you wriggle out of that suffering, you don't face up to it, you don't endure it, you haven't learned from that mistake, that means you're going to have to do it again. Because in Buddhism and Hinduism and other traditions, there is a very well-established, uncontroversial idea that life has a purpose and we're here to learn that purpose. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. And so therefore, to not learn from our mistakes would be a violation of that purpose. It would be a setback. Of course, this is part of an important strategy for activists and especially nonviolent activists. We have to constantly absorb, assimilate the feedback from our actions. And that means if we make a mistake, and that doesn't just mean that somebody didn't like what we did, but if we, we do something that's counterproductive, we have to learn why and avoid that kind of mistake again. Now, there's another simpler dimension to what Gandhi undoubtedly intended here, and that has to do with the theory of civil disobedience. That if you deliberately break a law because you feel that it's unjust, then when you accept the consequences for that breakage, you are having the kind of impact that you want on what we call the reference public, you know, the people looking on, be they legislators, teachers, or whoever. You say to them, I know this is a mistake, and I'm willing to take the consequences because I need to show you that there's a flaw in this uh, legislation or custom or whatever. It has a very strong emotional impact on people. Whereas if you do something and then try to wriggle out of the consequences, it has no such impact. <laughs>